So generally, it's best to follow the same program week by week. You have microcycles, mesocycles, and macrocycles. So microcycle is usually going to be, you know, let's just say one week. And then a, a mesocycle is going to be, you know, three to three to four microcycles. Then a, ma a macrocycle is going to be three to four mesocycles. Okay. And so say you're going to work out three days a week. You pick three days. And, you know, it, there's a lot of nuance in this. And we can create the programs for you if you want to hire us for, to, for online training. But you have things you want to prioritize. So you maybe want to prioritize your chest or your, your glutes or like your back. You can focus on that. But I mean, you want to follow kind of the same micro cycles week by week and progress it, right? And so you have something called progressive overload or linear progression. So let's just say this is your volume, which volume is essentially like sets times reps or even just intensity, which is the weight whatever it is, then say it's the weeks, right? Week one could be like a three by 10 at six RPE, right? Week two might be a little harder where it's like a four by 10 at six RPE. So you're doing the same workouts, but it's just a little bit more volume. Week three might be a four by 10 at seven RPE. So now it's, you're increasing the weight, and at some point, you're going to get, you know, you can't progress forever. So at some point, you're going to get tired. And so you do something called a deload, which is a purposeful drop in intensity or volume. So you maybe down here, let your body catch up. So it's going to be like a, like a two by 10. And then week five here, week six here, week seven here, week eight here. So the workouts constantly get harder as you go, which forces your body to change and adapt to that new stimulus, right? So as we said in the earlier modules, your body does not want you to punish your muscle mass and it wants to preserve body fat. So it's not gonna change unless it wants to change. So if you're doing the exact same thing over and over again, not adjusting the weights or the volume or the reps and that stuff, it gets to a point where your body can do that work and not have to change anymore. So it's not gonna change anymore. That's how you plateau, right? I'm sure a lot of you guys felt like you plateaued before. So if you're purposeful with it and you have intent and you make it progressively harder week by week, your body has to adapt to any stimulus, has to grow, has to change, and be able to be able to do that. Like I said before, if you're on a diet, your body's gonna do whatever it possibly can to get rid of your extra muscle mass. And so if we force it to keep the muscle mass, if not put some on through the workouts, then it's gonna do that. That's why strength training is so important. This is essentially the very foundational, basic elementary level of you know, periodization. But this is kind of how you wanna structure your programs. Okay, like I said, if you want to work out, work with us. We'll make this for you a little more in depth and teach you how to do this, but that's kind of what you want to focus on. That's what you want to do. So to bring it full circle, generally I first few training. So we're going to be th two to four sets, eight to 12 reps, RPE six to eight. We're going to work on full range of motion, full body movements. So something called compound movements. Think about it, bicep curl, just using one arm or one joint. That's called a single joint movement. If I do a row, I'm, using, I'm moving my elbow as well as my shoulder. So it's called a multi or compound movement, right? And so that's gonna be much more efficient than single joint. So prioritize compound movements, the squats, the deadlifts, rows, presses, and progress that week by week. And, 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 and like I said, if you get bored of it, you get bored, you don't wanna work out, just change it up. But this is generally the best way to do this. And if you do wanna hire someone, we do this for all of our clients. We have over a thousand clients right now. Um, or like we have thousands of clients that we worked with in the past. So we can help you with this. Also educate you on how to do it on your own. So you can do this after you're done working with us too.